Well, the Ghana Football Association is set to announce the new Black Stars coach in the next 48 hours. The new gaffer will have his work cut out. Joy Sports believes the new coach will need to deal with the following issues as a matter of urgency. There is more in this Joy Sports editorial. The captain has come down on an error. C.K. Connor's 19-month stint with the Black Stars can be described as a failed experiment. And we're all to blame. The Ghana Football Association, the government, the media, and the fans. We cannot, however, dwell too much on the past, except for the lessons to draw to ensure the mistakes of the last 20 months are not repeated. The first step is the appointment of a new coach. Whoever is appointed will undoubtedly have his hands full as he must manage a transition aimed at building a team around a crop of young players and a few established names. In this regard, Joy Sports believes the new man must deal with the following pressing challenges to help us forge ahead in the hopes of reclaiming the glories of yesteryear. The first is team building. Young players must be integrated strategically as the older players are phased out. Tactical approach. A distinct style of play should be deployed and must be evident to Ghanaians. Talent identification. A thorough plan stipulating how young talents should be scouted and developed has to be put in place as a matter of urgency. Trust. There must be trust between the coaches, the players and fans about the football project being implemented. To achieve that, the Ghana Football Association must set realistic targets for the new man and same must be communicated to the fans. Technical Direction A holistic plan on how to move Ghana football forward from Colts to the youth setup through to senior football. To achieve these five T's, key stakeholders as the government and the Football Association must limit their involvement in technical decisions which must be the reserve of the coach and the technical team. We at Joy Sports believe the future of the Black Stars is as bright as ever. And that was a Joy Sports editorial. Meanwhile, Ghana football fans, Ghanaian football fans, I beg your pardon, have urged the Ghana Football Association to appoint a competent coach to replace CK Akono. For us as people that pay tax to the government, it would be good for us going into this AFCON tournament and also in qualification to the World Cup. And then if it's good for us, that means that we are finding a good replacement that is very good than CK Akonon. Initially for me personally, I didn't believe the fact that if you are looking for a local coach in our country, you would have to come in CK Akonon with what he left behind at Kumasi Asantikotoko. So he, when he was appointed as a coach uh, for the Black Stars, I thought well that we could have done better than CK Akonon. Looking at the goal that we've set for ourselves as a country going into the World Cup and making sure that within the next AFCON we are supposed to win it after so many years. So he, he CK, has been giving his marching orders. It's a good call. But what would be a disadvantage to us as a country is the fact that we have limited time, about six months to also prepare for, for the next AFCON, which is in February. That means that the coach that is coming in would have to be experienced. That means that the coach that is coming in would have to know the terrain and how he can also help us in going into the World Cup where we're able to qualify. I mean, from 2008 to around 2014, before Kwesi Apia came, the, foreign, the foreigners carried us and we played very well, played in the semi-final of the AFCON for most of the year. So I think that is the way we should go, go and appoint a foreign coach. Because that's the way we've proven that we can play well. Um, what I knew was that football was supposed to be for football people, as some people said. So I'm, I'm really surprised as to how there is a lot of government interference because I knew that any time government interfered in football activities, the countries were banned. So uh, I'm surprised you are joking with something like this because there could be an impending FIFA ban if there is that much of interference by politics. Well, there's than 48 hours to go until we have an idea as to who will be leading the Black Stars of Ghana. We'll continue to monitor the terrain and when it breaks, of course, we'll bring it to you here first on the Join News channel, also um, on all our social media platforms. You can, of course, read all the latest at myjoyonline.com forward slash sport. I am Hans Mainsan.